Today it's all about the kitchen as my spring decorating series continues. Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Before I start decorating, I wanted to chat with you about a little change in here that I made a couple of weeks ago, and that is painting the vent hood. It now matches the island and the doors, and to be honest, I was considering painting all of the lower cabinets green and then painting the island back to white, but then a few kind folks reminded me I might not want such an ambitious project and suggested I just paint the vent hood. So that's what I did. Now it's been green before when I had the lower cabinets painted pewter green, which is a bit darker than the retreat. But for now, I'm pretty sure this satisfies my need to have some color over here. I've even thought about painting the open shelves green as well. So don't be surprised if they look a little bit different next time we're hanging out in here. But while we're over here, let's go ahead and springify the shelves first. And here are some of the elements I'm going to be using. I have glasses, a few white pieces to include books, which I love using as a riser, good old white plates, white bowls, and white pitchers. And then for a pop of color, I have these beautiful bunny plates and these faux plants. I really like that they have the pink veins running through them. That ties in nicely with the blush pink containers that I placed them in. Now I was gonna leave it just like this, but since I have glass up above, I decided to bring in a little bit of glass to this shelf as well. And now moving on down to the peg rack, I've got a few everyday items I'm gonna add to the pegs that will hopefully give it a nice spring look. The first items being dish towels, or in this case, a napkin. I shared these from my spring decor haul. They're from Home Goods. And I'm gonna set this one here first because it will be diagonally down from the blush pot that I added to this shelf. And then just a plain white one. And then this really pretty green and white stripe. I shared these in my spring decor haul, I believe it was, a few weeks ago. The thing I also love about dish towels is it helps to conceal your outlets and light switches. And then next, I'm gonna hang this dainty little pitcher or creamer. And now I've got one peg left. See how I have the longer dish towels and then the short creamer? Visually, I wanna add one more long item, but not another dish towel. I'm gonna add this board instead. See how visually it lines up with the dish towels? And I could leave it just like that. However, I'm gonna layer one little thing in front of it. And that is this adorable board. I love the lattice and the bunny detail. I could leave it just like this, but I have one more thing I wanna add. Because I've got the wood and white there, I wanna add this little wood and white brush here. Just gonna lay it right over the dish towel. So now it just kind of ties it all together. 
Now, a lot of times I'll add a little something there, but I think I'm just gonna leave my workspace empty and focus on the back corner. Now for the vignette, I need to add something tall in the back first. That's where this little crock or jug will come in handy. I got this at Target a few years ago, but I'm not gonna leave it empty. To give it visual height and a pop of color, I have these faux florals. You've got the blush that will tie in with the napkin I hung from the peg rack, as well as the planters up on the shelves, and then the green and white florals. Next, I'm gonna add a couple of these plates. These are the dinner plates that match the salad plates that are up on the shelves. And because of that, I'm going to lay these flat just so I'm not overwhelming the space with the pattern. And then I'm going to place these white plates on top. So you'll appreciate the border more. So again, it's not exactly matching with the bunnies, it's now complementing. And now I'm gonna add these really pretty green bowls on top. And then this pitcher filled with wooden spoons and spatulas. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna place this little bunny here. Although, I may try to find something that's green, like a matching pitcher, matching green pitcher, so that I've got green carried over here. I've got it in the back left side but i feel like i need it on the right i could tuck some greenery right here so this may change a little bit in time for my spring home tour well i thought i could wait but i couldn't i took away the bunny plates added white instead then i took away the pitcher with the wooden spoons and spatulas added this glass canister in its place along with a few eggs so I have the cream, a light pink, and a green. So now I've got the green over there that I wanted. It balances with the green bowls, but I still have got the green, white, and pink in the back. I just feel like this works better. Now to add something above the cooktop. I used to have a mirror back there with a wreath layered in front, but I'm gonna go back to a piece of art. I love getting mine from Etsy. You can purchase your digital download and then upload it to your favorite office supply store or Walmart and they'll print it in the size you need. But I love this one. I had it in another room last year for spring, but it's got the blush pink, the green, the white, a little bit of blue and gray. To the left of the cooktop, I have this tiny section, so I don't want to add much and crowd it up. First thing I'm going to do is place these cookbooks. They're going to be at an angle just to kind of mirror the um, vignette that I have in the corner over there, which is also coming out at an angle. And then a pitcher filled with utensils. And then a smaller pitcher filled with faux tulips. And that's it. And add a little bit of spring to the hood. I'm just gonna rest this bunny right there and hope that he doesn't fall off. Okay, now we had to do something in that little cabinet. I have a couple of these bowls that I found at Goodwill last year, along with these smaller bowls, a couple of adorable bunnies, and then these bunny cake stands. We've made our way over to this side of the kitchen, so I'm gonna do just a little something with the coffee station. First, I'm gonna slide in this ceramic tray. This is gonna serve as my anchor. And then for a little pop of green, I'm just gonna layer this dish towel right on top. Just kind of scrunch it up a bit. And then a coffee mug tree. 
a couple of white coffee mugs, and then a couple of these. They're not exactly coffee mugs, they're like little creamers, but I still think they're adorable. And then this glass canister with his coffee pods, which by the way, the orange is totally throwing off my color scheme. So let's just pretend that they're all pink. How about that? And now we can take care of the open shelves on this side, which they're gonna look a little similar to the ones on the other side. And then on the peg rack, I'm gonna to try to duplicate as much as I can what I did over on the other peg rack. Now, unfortunately, this peg rack isn't as wide as the other one, which means that I wasn't able to add the blush napkin like I did over there. That means that visually, I'm just gonna rely on the pink in those little bunny creamers to tie in with the pink in the planters up on the shelves. Now, I thought about adding something right there, and I still may, but I kind of like it just empty. Now, let's do something with this plate rack. This was a DIY project from a few years ago, and I love how it transformed an otherwise boring blank wall. To the rack, I'll be bringing back these woven chargers, these simple white plates, although I love that beaded detail. And then thankfully I had a few of the bunny plates left over, so I thought I'd add these as well. As a finishing touch, I'm just gonna place the hook on the trim and then hang one of the blush napkins on it so that it ties in with those that I added to the peg racks. I still need to style the island and figure out what I'm going to put here since I moved the table to the sunroom, but I feel like I've kept you too long today. How about we meet back here in a few days to finish those two spots up? As always, I really appreciate your company and would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great weekend and I'll see you early next week.